I found this hatchet. I had it stored away from, this used to be my father's, or actually still is my father's, but I've got it now. It's a, uh, it's a Norland. This thing must be at least 50 years old. And, uh, I got it out because I gave this Collins here to my son and he put his initials in it. And, uh, and I thought for some reason that it was that half of the, uh, half of the fitting here that goes up inside had broken off and I started to remove it and I saw that it was not broken off. So I'm just going to, um, I can feel that it's, that it's got just a little bit of, um, this needs to be sharpened a little bit. It's got a little bit of roll over here, right in, right in this area right here. So I thought I would just, um, take a little bit of time and do some cleaning on it. It still has the original varnish on it. It hasn't been used that much. Um, it's just been in storage. And so it needs, you know, the, the wood really needs to be, you know, given some moisture, some oil. So I've got some oil here and I thought I would just take sandpaper to it, sharpen it up a little bit, get it cleaned up and I would start using it. The only real defect on this thing that I can see is right here. Um, a piece of it has broken off and come out of there, a sliver of it. But I do have another handle for it. I bought this other handle in anticipation of replacing this one. This is uh, a good... Um, Hickory handle. I can't remember the brand right there. Um, but I was going to put this one on it. It's a little bit longer. I like my handles a little bit longer. Um, and and it's a. It looks like it's a. It's a pretty good one. But I don't need it. I'm gonna. I'll just go ahead and use this. And you know, if this one breaks off, then I'll I'll replace it with that. So, looks like there's a couple little, it has been used. Yeah, it's a pretty good little, a pretty good little hatchet. You know, it's, um, You know, it's not that great for, you know, it's okay for splitting kindling, right? But if you compare it to like this Collins, for example, this thing right here is really skinny. And so there's not a whole lot of contact with the wood there. So, you, you know, it's not supposed to be used for super heavy duty stuff. You know, You know, that Collins axe, that is, a, or the, this hatchet, it is a really good hatchet. I've liked it, and it's super inexpensive. They, they don't make these Norlands anymore. But from what I understand, there's a lot of people who, who really like them. So I think it's kind of neat, just the fact that a lot of people like them, and I've got one, so... That's neat. I dug that out, and so we'll just put it back in shape. Now I'll just get the bits that are left over going with the grain. Yeah, I really abuse these things. Take care of them, but I abuse them. That's 
kind of contradictory, isn't it? Now there's just a little bit of rust on it. And I'm not going to worry about getting that off. It, it, adds, it adds to the character. You can see the red on there. I don't think it's really been used that much for that, that, you know, they were always painted through the red on top there, I guess. I don't remember it when my father got that. He must have gotten it. I remember we went camping a, in, uh, well, they could have gotten it a couple of times. I, I think it, he got it really early, like in the, uh, mid to late 60s. And I remember going camping in, uh, oh, where were we? We went camping at, uh, I think it was uh, Mount Rainier. And a couple of times up here in the Wasatch Mountains around Salt Lake City. Yeah, so I just need to, there's a little, little place on here I want to bring out with a file. I don't want to use that one. I've got, let's see here, in my bucket over here, a steel kit. I think it's a steel kit. I need to say, um, I don't need that. I gotta take my glasses off to see that. I always say I've got to take my glasses off so I can look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to uh, use the stone on that a little bit, and it'll be good. It's actually pretty good right now. All right. So I will just uh, wow. That's actually, you know, I don't have to have it razor sharp. I know, like for example, I don't need to cut the hair on my arm or anything. So this, uh, you can see, but I like to put water on it every now and then. You can see how that just absorbs right in there. Absorbs right into your bench too. <clears throat> but I think it's kind of cool to watch it disappear. I think I've got it really sharp. I think I've got it really sharp. Um, got a yeah. So that's sharp enough for what I need it for. <clears throat> right? I mean, it's 
Not like I have to split the fabric of time and space or anything. But it is really sharp, really good. I think there's just one little nick in it that I noticed that I didn't really care to get out. Anyway. So now I'm gonna put some linseed oil on it. I don't know if you can really see the difference. In those two sides, but that oil really sort of Hard to tell the difference between that and varnish, but there's clearly a difference. I mean, functionally. I'll let that absorb, absorb in and I'll do a few more coats to it. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prop this up in the vise so that's sticking straight up like that. And then just pour some linseed oil right in there. I hope this doesn't go all over the place. Here we go. There we go. here. I'll put that on there and uh, kind of rub that in, rub it around. Hey, I almost forgot to mention, I've got this sheath that this thing came with. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it there or not, but it's, um, it's got a guy in a canoe and it says genuine New Orleans. I think that's a, <clears throat> and this is, uh, it's broken here. It's kind of, it's not quite brittle, but it needs, um, something i don't know what some sort of animal oil some maybe some uh, mink oil or something to put on there just to soften it up a little bit i've got some of that i should go get it and put it on there 